Hey guys, so before I showed you how to install Slash 11.1, um, we talked a little bit about ZFS. Uh, I recommend you go back and watch it. It's 20 minutes long, but it's got a lot of information in the video. So now basically I have uh, configured this to work with my um, fake Windows domain root.com. We're going to, I've configured uh, DNS to uh, be able to do NS, do lookups uh, against it. So let's do VA dash when or actually we'll look up ourselves so cfs dash x and ns lookups that's another command and so you can see right there that it's in dns and so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, join this to uh, the domain um, boot.com so first thing that you're going to do is install the uh, smb uh, package so it's going to be pkg for package um, install service slash file dash system slash smd let it do its thing and also we're going to uh, we're going to put the drives into a mirror The uh, operating system drives are otherwise known in uh, Solaris as the R pool um, drives. We're going to put them into a uh, into a mirror. And just to recap, this is a virtual machine that's on the, on this machine, and you can see right there that's the actual console, and we just SSH'd into it as a bridge adapter, and so it's on the local network through the uh, Wi-Fi card. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Um, so the next command that you issue is smd um, So you're going to uh, spcad and enable -r smd server. So once that's enabled um, basically, you're going to do a SMB ADM. And it's going to be join. Okay. Let's see. So first thing you have to do is you have to update your time with the uh, the, the uh, domain server. So that will be the first thing that we do. And that's NTP date. Um, we'll do the IP address 10.5.7.11. You can see the time was off quite a bit, so we'll do that a couple more times. Our time looks good now. 
So the next thing we're going to do is SMB ABM join the username that can join the domain. So D Ferguson dash admin and then the name of the domain which is root. Com. So let me just talk to you about this real quick. So things that I've done previously is uh, you have to actually create the object within Active Directory um, for the machine. So I created uh, zfs-box. And you also have to make sure that DNS is working for the server with the domain that you're trying to join. So let's see. Yes, it's just saying that the service will be started automatically. Enter domain password. So this is the password of the domain. And the domain user that you just try to use. So you can see that it, uh, it located the, the domain, it found the um, computer account in the object OU computers and root.com. So zfs-box. So successfully joined um, the domain. <clears throat> so that's really important for when you're doing SMB shares that you, you want to uh, you want to be able to you know set the permissions for the domain. So let's do a format. Well actually so a format and see what drives it sees. So it sees 10, 11 drives total, which is a good um, it sees this is the uh, this is gonna be tricky. So I'm going to guess because you, you need to know that it's the size and once you you know you use the drive itself it tells you the size of it and so that's 16 gigs and I'm guessing that these all these 13 there's one two three four five six seven at 13 there's one at uh, two two five which I'm guessing is the five gig and that's probably the seven gig and this is probably my other 16 gig so I'm going to want to capture that real quick um, before I uh, control C out of here. So which one was that again? It was this one. So now we need to put the drives into a, a mirror. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, so the command that you issue for that is uh, z pull attach r pull um, the drive that's already in the pool that you want to attach it to. So we'll do a control C and control V space, and then the drive that you're trying to attach to. Let's see what happens. Switch these around. Sometimes it's. Uh, backwards in my mind. These should be the same size drives. Let's see. What am I doing wrong here? Okay. So we need to find which drive we need Five, seven gig, ten gig, sixteen gig.
let us drive there. It says it's a get 10 gigabyte drive. Let's just go through here and try all the drives then. Three, four, Okay, so apparently the drive that I was looking for was uh, T8T20D0. So you can see if you do a, a Z pull is the command, and then uh, status. Give it a second. You can see that. Uh, now there's two drives in this uh, in, the, in the Z pool, or the the, yeah, well, yeah, the the R pool, and one's degraded, but that's because it's recently. Um, and then you can see that we have some display output over here. You basically, it's just alerting us that the uh, that it's resilvering the resilvering the hard drive. So. We run that again, you can see it's 14% done, and now it's 21% done. So we're going to go ahead and conclude our video with that. So we, you can see that now we have the Opal in a mirrored state. Um, and that should be it. Let's run a package update. And we should be good. Thanks, guys. Just so you know, in the next video, we're going to cover creating a SMB share um, and uh, messing around with the Windows uh, permissions on it. Um, okay, thanks.